Welcome back to Lightning Returned, my friends. We are about to start day two of our quest. Um, before we do that, I just want to change uh, the shield that I gave to Lightning. I'm going to put the, the, the Lightning Night Lotus on her. And we have a lot of time. So we, I want you, you should go to the South Station because we're heading to the Wildlands. Uh, so let's do that. Let's say goodbye for to Hope for now. Now the reason why we're doing going to the Wildlands is because we can do the Angel of Valhalla quest uh, right now, which is the quest where you get to White Chocobo. Uh, and there are a lot of benefits to do this quest right now because uh, Lightning will, will do a bunch of side quests that will boost her stats. And anyway, the main quest on Luxarian can only only needs to be done uh, after uh, 10 p.m. So we're all good. Uh, let's just watch this little cutscene here. Hey, Savior, what's going on? Well, not her. <laughs> you again? Right. Can you hear me? Are you alright? Where are you? What's the problem? Equipment trouble? I'm not I'm doing crazy readings. The coordinates make no sense. I can't pinpoint the <sighs> position. Hope, are you there? No, no, no. Hope can't hear you or see you. You're invisible. Do you know why? Because we're inside you. Spooky, huh? You mean inside my mind? Yeah, it's a safe place that God can't see. You could almost say it's like, oh, I don't know, an unseen realm. All right, if you say so. But that begs the question, what the hell are you doing in here? I have a name, it's Lumina, and I know a lot about you. <sighs> you need my advice, and in here we can talk about anything we want. Safe from prying eyes. Prying eyes? You mean hope? Yep. He might not realize it, but everything he learns gets passed straight on to God. What of it? I don't have any secrets to hide. Oh, right. You're the loyal servant, aren't you? You wouldn't dream of betraying him. And don't worry, okay? Even if I know otherwise, well... My lips are I have no reason to betray him. Right, right. That's very convincing. Keep those feelings hidden and play the loyal little servant. You want to be as cold as a steel in your sword. You do that, and then no one can guess what's inside. It's true, God can't see into human hearts. But he can read your face and tone, just like anyone else, and make his own guesses. Like I said, I don't have anything to hide. He's promised to bring Sarah back. I'm not gonna do anything that might cause him to change his mind. Why should I? Are you still in there, Lightning? Why are you afraid? Huh? Come on, think about it. We're inside your mind, don't you get it? If you can't be true to yourself here, where can you? I know you haven't changed, cause you can't. <sighs> what the hell are you? We are just particles, particles of dust, dust brushed, brushed from, from the palm, palm of a god. god. That's all we, we ever, ever were. were. <gasps> right, right, sis? sis. <gasps> no, wait! That was... That was Sarah. You only saw the resemblances now, Jesus. Well, of course we can trust God. Come on now. I, it appears that there's going to be a lot of things happening. I'd really like to advance with the main quest now. Finally, I've got a connection again. Like, what just happened? I was talking to Lumina. Lumina? That girl? What does she want? And where is she now? You didn't hear any of that? No, my sensors didn't pick up a thing. Are you sure she was there? Maybe it was just a dream. A dream? Maybe that's what it was. Uh, right. Uh, teleport complete. 
Yeah, sure, a dream. Let's let's believe in that. In such a crazy world, finding a girl, an annoying girl, girl at that, uh, intercepting our voyages doesn't seem that weird to me. But oh well, uh, that doesn't matter right now because we have more important things to do. And that's head to the wildlands to gain a pet. So. Let's head to the wildlands, we'll arrive there at 6.30, which is awesome. Uh, don't worry about the children of Fetro quest, because like I said, we'll be back in time to do it. Uh, plus, we can only complete it between the hours of 10pm uh, and 6am of day 2 anyway. So, might as well do something useful until then. And that's why we're heading to the, le w w to the uh, wildlands, where we can do a bunch of side quests. And boost lightning stats and gain a pet. So, yeah, you better do it now. It's highly recommended. So, this is the last surviving wilderness. It's very pretty though. The people who live out here are not like the city dwellers. They're different. They don't follow the teachings of the order. And they don't want to rely on handouts either. So they strive to live off the land. A refuge for those who refuse to be tamed. Is that it? Light. The encounter is ordained. You have been led to the fountainhead, whence the chaos flows. Here you will meet the servant of fate, adorned with feathers of white. The angel of Valhalla. Light? What just happened? I heard a voice. It said that I've been led here, and I'm supposed to meet someone. The Angel of Valhalla. What kind of voice? I didn't pick anything up on this end. A young girl, but I don't think she's close. It was more like she was speaking from the chaos itself. I just ran a search on this angel person, but it came up blank. Maybe you should ask the locals. Okay, now finally we can progress with the story. As soon as we try to leave the station, uh, we'll enter a conversation with those dudes who will inform us about uh, what we kind of need to do. Yeah? What do you want? I have a question for you. Have you ever heard of someone called the Angel of Valhalla? Hey, you must be new to these parts. There's not a man or woman here that doesn't know the Angel. The Angel of Valhalla isn't a person. It's a legendary chocobo, covered in feathers as white as the clouds. It's the sacred bird that only appears at the end of the world. So it's a local legend then? Yeah, a legend. At least that's what it used to be. But in recent times, many folk have seen the bird with their own two eyes. A lot of us are thinking maybe that story is true. Maybe it is, but Dr. Ghazal has been after it for years, and he still doesn't have proof that the beast is the one from legend. Dr. Ghazal? Who would that be? The famous veterinarian, of oh, course. Oh, a veterinarian. A character with the temper of a behemoth, but he loves his chocobos. When it comes to the angel, he's the leading expert in all of the wildlands. The doctor lives up the road a bit, in the village of Canopus Farms. If you catch him in a good mood, he'll help you out. Um, maybe. Okay, so we got the information, now we need to go meet this doctor. There isn't anything here. Ugh. We're actually going to accept this 
quests. Oh, how my feet hurt, I can't leave the house, not even to pick a flower for my dear brother, who has been taking care of me. Can someone please bring me a day ring blossom or two? They bloom only during the day, out on the open plains. So we're going to accept this quest, we're actually going to accept them all, because we can complete the most of them. Moonflower, we need to gather moonflowers. I look after my sister Alerit, who can't get around on account of her injured leg. I want to give her flowers to cheer her up, but I'm too busy nursing her. Can some, can some kind person bring me a moon soul bloom or two? They groom on the grasslands and on the Eremite plains. We will accept that quest as well. Uh, you'll encounter these flyer, flowers as you run around the, the wildlands, so you don't need to worry. Uh, I fell over heels for him and landed right on my face. Ah, go, ah gods, what? I wouldn't give for it to have never happened. Him, you know, that reminds me of a potion that Lumina told me about. One that can make you forget unpleasant things. Lumina. All you need is some vibrant tools, she said. So let's collect that as well. Uh, let's see. Chocobo Shao. Uh, we need to gather the greens. We can do that now as well. These quests are all related. Uh, one will try the other ones later, so that's enough for now. Uh, so let's head down. So we're heading towards the farm. We'll talk with this person later. Chocobo vet by the name of Dr. Gazal. Hmm. They said I could find him in Canopus Farm. There it is. That's the farm right there. So let's head to the farm, talk with the doctor, and then we can move on with the plot. There he is. You have been led to the fountainhead whence the chaos flows. Does that mean anything to you? Great Etro's helm. Where did you hear those words? Who spoke them? A young girl, but I never saw her. A maiden's voice born on the wind. Yes, yes, that's how I heard them too. So it would appear that she has spoken to both of us. Very well. I will share what I know. The angel is a tempestuous chocobo that lives in these plains. I myself have glimpsed the creature many times, but unfortunately I've never succeeded in capturing him. It is said whoever can break him and ride him will become his master. But I've long since given up hope that it shall be me. Nor me. I don't know anything about chocobos. Don't rule yourself out, young lady. You may be the one. If you're telling the truth about the voice, that is. It's true, not everyone who hears the voice is the chosen one. But rest assured, the encounter will happen. The legends tell us that the Chocobo's chosen master will be led by the Chocobo to a certain place. I speak of that dread edifice whence the chaos emerges, the Temple of Etro herself. You mean the one built into the cliff? The very same. And deep below that sinister haven of destruction, an ocean of chaos royals, the great chaos of the stories. Hmm, what does that mean? Is it a different kind of chaos? Alas, the legends give us few details. If you wish to find an answer to that question, you will have to seek the truth in the temple. And to do that, I've got to find and tame the Angel of Valhalla. Yes, indeed. But that, let me assure you, is no easy task. I have a couple of assistants who live here in the village. Talk to them, and they can give you advice about finding the chocobo. Uh, we really don't need advice because we know where to go. Uh, but before we head out to find the chocobo, go to the outfitters and put. And let's put charge the electronica garb. 
Let me sell some of the medals that I've been collecting. And also precise the ignition uh, garb. There we go, ignition. Fire level 2, that's actually rather useful for this point in the game. So let me adjust my garbs here. Uh, so let's set up the electronica. In terms of weapons, I'm going to give her the Devil's Daughter. She can keep that shield for now. And let's set up her abilities. So you want to give her fire a arrow because the enemies here there are a lot of enemies here that are weak to uh, wind magic and let's give her a guard as well just to be on the safe it's the savior who had it well it's it's hers now so this will work out for now in, in terms of accessories let's see Magician's Tonic, a token and... Uh, no, actually she can keep that. We really don't need this. Yeah, I don't want no adornments. So that's all for the Electronica one. We're going to replace it by Mist Wizard. And let me set up the ignition one as well. Uh, for now we don't need it though. So yeah, Passion Rouge, let's keep that. Electronica and Nocturne. So this will work out just fine for now. Um, so let's head out and find the white chocobo. We need to go through there. First pick up this uh, imp crest. I don't think I'm going to give it to... Yeah, we're good. Let's head out. Um, keep in mind though that we're going to face a fairly powerful opponent for this point in the game. Uh, he's called the Shokobo Eater. Uh, what we need to go is go through here. So let's keep moving. There's a Chaos uh, Sphere here. You might want to do this right now. These enemies are uh, weak to a arrow, so don't use, uh, but don't use uh, thunder on them. Otherwise, they'll. Don't use thunder on them. Otherwise, they'll absorb it. But they're pretty much over. There we go. We got another. Oh, I thought he was inside the Chaos uh, Infusion. The Apparently, chaos he wasn't. The world right here in the the flood of chaos this area. So this is I thought he was inside the Chaos Infusion. Apparently, he wasn't. Well, that's okay. So, let's keep going. Ah, now we are inside the Chaos Infusion. Where's my enemy, though? Just you, I can take you on. Out. 
Let's finish it off. There we go. EP bonus plus one, very nice. Air one blizzard. So that's going to be useful. Now I just... Shouldn't he have dropped another little soul seed? Oh no, I'm not gonna fight that guy now. Uh, they're pretty strong for this point in the game. So let's keep moving. Chocobos too. Oh, so you were seeking the wild chocobo. Normally I would warn city folk from such folly, but you look capable enough. But know if you find yourself in trouble. Return quickly to the high road. My people are there and will help. The angel is a herald of the end of the world. The people out here want it. So now we need to go through here to find the chocobo. Uh, we might encounter some enemies along the way, but that's okay. Ah, that's not good. There we go. Vibratoo, vibrant tools. we need to collect those so yeah you might as well take care of them now because we'll need them for two side quests in this game ha huh, now I got you so to deal with these uh, annoying plants just just use uh, Just use th thunder spells, thunder followed by thunder or fire, uh, and you won't have a frost strike. Very nice, and you won't have any problems at all. I wasn't strong enough to stop it. Pick up these flowers whenever you see them. But they they ring blossom. We'll need others. Okay, there's the shokobo. The uh, there's the shokobo eater. So we need to be careful here. Uh, he is a tough opponent, but. Okay, having that monster running around isn't very nice. Let's see if I can strike it. Great. Let's start with the protect and the shell. This guy has high... Uh, This guy has a lot of high HP uh, and he deals a lot of damage so it's important for you to protect yourself. He's staggered, that's good. Let's see if we can... Let me just show you uh, his information. So yeah, one of his weaknesses is we have to attack him while he's about to... Uh, he's trying to bite us. We can stagger him that way. Uh, so let me... Like I said, he deals quite a punch, so you need to protect yourself. He's going to do his bite attack now, so attack him now. He's staggered again, so again, attack. Evil has a price. He's pretty much done.
There we go. We had to use a potion, but it's all good. As you can see, it wasn't that hard to beat Green Monster Moss, and we got 2 EP, so we just recovered the EP that we lost, which is all good. And we saved the Chocobo. But he needs immediate attention. Oh boy, he's pretty injured. That stupid Chocobo Eater. Aww. Look at this. Why didn't he just run away? He's torn up pretty bad. Perhaps he had to fight to protect something. It's alright, little one. I'll help you. You're bleeding heavily. We have to stop it. No. It's the white chocobo. What happened here? He needs medical attention and fast. Right. I'll get the doctor. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You have the word of Dr. Gizal. Stop moving around! Quickly! Okay, so the first part of the quest is done. Now what we're going to have to do is actually go uh, after the, the Shokobo and attend to him and help him heal himself up so I'm going to do that on the next segment um, while you travel back to the Shokobo farm I, re I recommend that you fight some opponents but I'll show it on the next segment as well so I hope you guys found this segment uh, helpful if you are struggling with this game uh, and I'll see you I'll see you later my friend so take care